With the new year comes some new laws that could impact everything from the way you shop for your food to how much you pay at the pump. When we start the new year in just a couple of days, it's bringing a lot of changes. Yeah, some of those changes could end up making you pay more. KCRA3's Mike Lurie joining us now live from a store in Sacramento with the one change that could eventually impact the way we all shop, Mike. That's right, Golston. The change is a ban on single use plastic bags like this one that you find at stores here like Target and elsewhere across the state. It's supposed to go into effect July 1st, but is it? Opponents have been trying to overturn that ban, and now it appears they won the first battle. Take a look at the signatures that arrived today at the Sacramento County Elections Office. 36,000 here, and some 800,000 statewide supporters say to overturn next year's ban on single use plastic bags. These out of state plastic bag manufacturers have bought their way, it appears, onto the ballot. They've spent more than $3.2 million. Campaign finance records show three plastic bag companies from out of state contributed hundreds of thousands of dollars to overturn the ban, including more than half a million dollars from Hylex Poly of South Carolina on two occasions. Rather than having any positive impact on the environment, it's going to take money from California consumers and put it directly into the pockets of you know, grocery store shareholders. Under the new law, consumers would pay 10 cents for every paper bag they use. But the signatures to overturn the law are now under scrutiny, with dozens of Californians, including Joanne Anglin of Sacramento, claiming they were misled when approached to sign the petition. To save the ban and eliminate plastic bags. That's what you were told? Yes. But in fact, the petition does just the opposite. Absolutely, just the opposite. Plastic bag manufacturers deny any deception in the campaign, but polls show that most Californians support the ban. That would prefer that it not be overturned. I'm very concerned about what plastic is doing to the ocean and the rivers and the environment. So I hope they don't overturn it. Well, environmentalists have filed a formal complaint with the Secretary of State's office charging the organizers with deception in their campaign practices. We'll follow that one closely and see what happens. Reporting live in Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. Mike, what's the time frame for verifying those signatures? How long do they have? Well, the counties have about eight days to actually process them and come up with the number reported to the Secretary of State. And then there's another 30 day verification process. So we should actually know yes or no by around the beginning of March. All right, not too far from here. Thank you so much for that, Mike. Now,